What up folks, it's Alex here. I hope you're all well and have had a brilliant week. We're back here again with another 5 Minute Friday. Now during the week, my original syncing multicam clips together with audio, video actually hit 10,000 views. Way! So thank you all very much for that. Now to celebrate that milestone, here's another few quick tips to make sure you're getting the most from your multicam editing with individual result. The main thing we're going to look at is how to make amendments to a multicam clip just so you can tweak things to make sure they're absolutely perfect. Now don't forget if this video was useful give me a thumbs up, if you've got any comments or feedback comment below and do subscribe if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve 5 Minute Friday videos. Right let's get straight to it. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I'm in the edit tab and you can, as you can see here I've already created a multicam. So let's say that DaVinci hasn't quite lined things up right or you made an error with your markers so something's just a little bit off you need to tweak it slightly. It's actually quite easy to do. You can do it in one of two ways. You can either right click on the multicam file within your media pool and select open in timeline or if you prefer you can click drag the multicam clip and you want to release it here not actually onto the timeline but right here just to the left of the timeline. And what it will do is open the multicam clip in its own timeline. So you can see here I've got my original timeline which in my case is called timeline 1 and then I've got the multicam timeline. And as you can see here it shows all the individual components of the multicam itself. So my multicam is comprised of three separate clips with three audio clips. Now from here you can treat it exactly the same as anything else within DaVinci Resolve. So we've got the inspector tool over here so we can make some transforms and we can crop. We can also move the files along. So if for example one of the clips was just a little bit out of sync you can come in here use the audio file to line things up manually and just make some minor tweaks to it. So you can just make those tiny little amendments to make sure that the multicam clip is perfect. Once you're finished all you need to do is go to here in the bottom left where you've got timeline 1 and multicam and double click on timeline 1. Alternatively you can go to your media pool, find your original timeline and just double click that and it will take you back to your main timeline. Now when you add the multicam clip to your timeline it will have those amendments you've just made. Now when it's on your timeline you can still do the exact same thing. If you right click you can open in timeline make those amendments whatever you need then return back to your timeline one and those amendments will have occurred within this timeline so you can just tweak it as you go. Now there's actually another really useful thing which you can use the same technique for. So I'm going to right click and open in timeline. Now let's say I have a static image or some general b-roll which I also want to be able to switch to using the multicam. But it doesn't have any audio so it can't be synced up automatically. You can open the multicam timeline, you can then grab your additional file whatever it may be and you can just drag it and add it as a new angle. So I'm just going to put this on the top here, I'm going to cut this the same as I usually would and now we have four video files, so four video angles. It's a really good use if you're making gaming videos for example and you've just got a long montage of clips which you want to be able to hop back and forth to and from as you're doing your talking to camera. So now I've made this change, I've added this additional angle, I'm going to go back to my timeline one and as you can see the additional angle appears within the multicam. So let's say at this point here I just want to hop to my new angle which in my case is just called untitled angle, I can just hop to that one instead and then back. Now this next tip is a simple one but it can save you a whole bunch of time. You'll notice with a multicam that no matter where you select all four or however many angles you've got are being rendered at the same time. So DaVinci is having to work quite hard to play back all the different angles in the background. Now that means that your preview is going to be a little bit slow. Your PC may get a little bit sluggish when you're trying to play back your multicam clip because it's not just rendering the one you see, it's rendering all the others in the background as well. Now there's a simple solution to this and it's called flattening your multicam. So once you've made your changes, once you've made your cuts, you've got all your different angles, highlight all of the multicam clips, right click and then select flatten multicam clip. 
And what that will do is it will stop it from being a multicam and it will just instead display the individual clips. So therefore when you hit play, you're not rendering all of the different angles, you're just rendering the one that is selected. That means Resolve is working far less hard and hopefully your preview should be a hell of a lot smoother. Just remember to make sure you've made all your changes to your multicam clip before you flatten it.